What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we just did Sal 92 from the Perseverance Rover. Today we're going to look at a Gigapan. Now there's a bunch of things that people have mocked off, like what they believe is something other than a rock, but they miss something really big and I think it screams intelligently made. And as usual, they're taking a structure and pretty much making it look like a hillside. But once you see this enhanced, even if it's not enhanced, folks, you can still see some weird things sticking out of there that doesn't quite look natural. Let's jump right into this, shall we? All right, this is the pan we're going to have a look at. And this is from, you can see it right here, Perseverance 92, Sol 92. And my good friend Neville Thompson put this up here. Now, you can see all these little bubbles here, these little gray bubbles type thing, where people have mocked off where they believe uh, that there is something there other than a, a rock. Now, I can see this little pointy thing here. I've seen a couple of things there that actually do stand out pretty well. Now, when you go over to things like this here, kind of has that weird shape, like there may be something embedded in that rock, or it was made to look like a rock, and it's something else. This here. Look how it's got this round piece right here at the very end of that. See that? Let me just back up a little bit. See that? That's crazy, right? Now, like I said, most of the time, guys, these, these things are not rocks. There's something much more than that. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't look natural to me. But, you know, some people will say it's natural. Now, what I found interesting was this pile of rocks way back here in the center of the screen. Let's zoom into this. Look how these features come out straight. Another piece straight. What well, looks like a boxed area here. A smaller one down here. One that's kind of faded right here, but another straight piece coming out. What well, looks like something round with something in the center of it. We have this white piece up here at the top. Okay, it almost, has, it almost looks like a rectangular box type thing. And we're going to bring out this a lot more. See this feature right here? You can see this line where the, the cursor is going like this. This is all blur and manipulation. Just above that, you can see like a little bit of white here and a little bit of white here. But if you actually look through this blur, this is like a, like, a, like a square plate of some sort. This is not a mound or a hill. This is a structure or some kind of machinery or something to that effect. Either way you look at it, no matter what it is, because we can only speculate as to what it is, it is intentionally and intelligently made, right? Okay, so let's jump right into Photoshop because I want to show you this. All right, here's the photo right here. This is the way it comes. We can clear it up just a little bit, make it just a little clearer. We can see this box up here, kind of does this, goes back, does this here. But what I'm interested in, like, there is what looks like, like boxes. And we have this one here that's just barely visible at all, but it is there. Another one here. And then there's some things you don't see, right? Like this piece up here, just above it, it's doing this and going up and around it. Right there. You'll see it much better in a moment. Right? Again, this right here, down, is complete manipulation. This over here, from here up, has been manipulated, except for the things that are sticking out. What you see is these pieces here. Look carefully. I can see that going down just like this and going back up. Now, this is thick. It's hard to get through. When you see these rectangular pieces you can almost see them here so let's bring this out a little bit better let's take the next step of get off this nasty color right so right off the bat you can see these a little bit better as far as each of these that one's almost completely black and i think they did that purposely to try to hide the fact that they're like a box type thing which have an oval opening in the center you see that right there this one here they're like rectangular type things. I'm not sure what to make of that. We have this piece right here. Again, almost looks rounded or maybe octagon shaped with something smack dab in the middle. We have this piece coming down right here. And you'll see this a little bit better doing this up and around. So I'm guessing this thing goes out to the edge of this, right? Okay. Let's go a little bit more. Now what I'm trying to do is bring up the actual shapes. Of these. So I'm using the dodge tool to go around the edges of these so that we can see this a little bit better, okay? I'm gonna go a little bit more. Now we're gonna try to burn this. You can see where I tried to burn this out to try to get the details out. 
And you can see this white piece right here, this little smudge right here of white, and the rest of this up at the top here. Okay, you can see it actually has an appendage or something else coming down from it. So we took the dodge tool, we made that white, so you can see that a little better, okay? Okay, here's one of those squares sticking out right there. You can see this one right here, something's coming down into this blur as well. And like I said, this is the blur going up to this so-called hill. And down here is all blurred down here. So what you see is this is the actual, where this arrow is here, that's actual parts to this. Okay. Now, take note of this piece right here and the parts below it. This doesn't look like random rocks here, guys, or a hill. This looks like intelligently made parts laying on or in of this pile, right? Look at this. I'm not sure about anybody else, but I'm seeing things that clearly are not natural. Right there. And you can see this stuff popping right out. Have a look at any of these things right here. And I'm going to go back to the stock photo you can see where I pulled a little bit more white here right but the shapes are in fact there manipulation has been burned away and then we use a dodge tool to brighten up these areas so you can see the shapes of these better okay now same thing here have a look at that are those shapes still there? Absolutely. Still there. Right there. I burned some of this crap away, but it is very dense and it's hard to get out. Any one of these things. Have a look. Even up at the top here. Of course, we got rid of the actual colors. Let's do this. We'll just keep the color one. Before we enhanced. Right there. And you can see this stuff pop right out. Again, this appendage piece right here. Now, guys, all of this here is crap. This is all manipulation. Notice how you can see this little box right here. It's like it's supposed to be a square, but it just kind of like does this and kind of stops right there. And, of course, you get this black center to that. But we try to burn it a hair bit more, but still can't quite get through it. And, yeah, just some crazy things laying on the ground here. This is stuff you do not expect to see on a dusty, cold, dead planet. No way. Look at that. That's just crazy. To me, this is absolute proof of intelligent life on Mars. Nothing is going to form any rocks like that. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Again, we can see these box-like features on here. You can see that pretty darn good and don't have to do a thing to the photo. Now, if we get rid of the just orange color, this is what you get here. Okay. And again, we're going to use the dodge tool to bring out these rectangular pieces a little bit better. See that? That's all we're doing. And then we enhance it more, try to burn through some more of this garbage. And you can see there's still more of them squares or whatever they are, openings, call them what you will, on this side. Okay? And then just bring it all the way up, bring out the other parts here, and this is what you got, guys. What are we seeing here? To be truthful with you guys, I think it's completely obvious, right? Again, folks, I think this is completely obvious. I, I see intelligently made objects sitting in this, what is supposed to be this hillside. Now, is it possible over course of time, this dust built up on there and it became a pile and there it is what it is today? Because we still have these long pieces still sticking out. So it would have to fill quite a bit, meaning come up quite a bit to cover that up as well. So is that possible? It's just nothing more than a natural process that built up over a course of years and kind of buried this or these parts or structure. What do you guys think? Again, to me, that's absolute proof of intelligent life on Mars, but that's just my opinion. I want yours. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. And when the box drops down, hit all so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.